My channel in today's video i'm gonna do a makeup tutorial slash video i'm not a makeup pro i always say this but i feel like i have to say it i'm actually gonna do a type of makeup that i would use on a daily basis actually and it's not gonna be a typical kind of beauty guru makeup with a lot of layers and foundations and all that because I am over 30 and your skin changes when you're over 30 so you can't do all that so I'm gonna do it my way and if you want to know how I did it just keep watching So this is not a um, tea time with Selena, but I had to make some tea Good, so this is my naked face. I have nothing on except my eyebrows are a little bit uh, Colored, but that's it. So I'm gonna remove my glasses and I'm not gonna see shit so you know, I apologize in advance because I will probably never make these make a tutorial videos perfect because I don't know what's going on but I'll do my best as I said this is gonna be more of a just kind of what I usually do every day type of makeup it's not gonna be a beauty guru type of makeup I'm not gonna put layers and layers and layers and layers on my face because then it cracks and I look older than I am and it just doesn't work for me so before I do anything I uh, moisturize my face the pretty word moist that we all love so much. I'm actually gonna, just gonna start out with my Bare Minerals uh, powder. And I have a Bare Minerals brush to go with that. Seriously, I don't, I don't use any type of foundation or anything because first of all, I panic. I hate foundation. I hate the feeling of being um, cakey. I'm just going to apply this over my face. Usually I don't even apply this over my entire face. I just apply this over like my cheeks and maybe my forehead. But now since I'm actually gonna do another video after this, being on camera and all, I do need a little bit more. But I try to be a little bit careful with this as well because I'm just not a huge fan of skin makeup. If you get what I mean? Yeah, foundations, cream, contours, whatever. If, I, if I'm if i gonna put something on my face, it better not be a cream. It better be a powder of some sort. So yeah, that's just me. And then I just take this little end of the brush right here and then I just go in around my nose because I'm a little bit red over here. You know, the thing is that when you're over 30, I'm 33. You just can't do makeup, as you see, on every single beauty guru channel. You have to do it your way, because we're gonna look older, and we don't wanna look older. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Sometimes, however, I like to use a concealer, so I'm gonna use this from Naked well, Urban Decay, Naked Skin. It's in the shade Light Neutral. The Bare Minerals shade is in Fairly Light, because I am a vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna dab this. Seriously. And it has something on my lip. Okay. So now, I'm very, very carefully just gonna dab that a little bit under my eyes. And that is pretty much it. Now, I don't see anything. I have all my makeup down here. And I'm trying to find a brush. Oh! I, I found it. Zip concealer brush nothing fancy and I'm just gonna start kind of dabbing that into the skin as much as I can it's not gonna remove all my dark circles or anything but just gonna make it look a little bit more less noticeable and just fade it out from my nose and I always try to stay away from these pretty lines right here because they do crease up very fast so I don't want to have like seriously like no makeup around my mouth what do I want to do well actually I forgot something back home well this is pretty authentic though because this is kind of what I do also so this is my Kat Von D contour brush and I do have a little bit of uh, color in here still so I use her contour palette together with this brush and now I'm just gonna shade in a little bit on my cheeks if 
sometimes I do forget my palette if I'm going somewhere you can just use your brush if you're a disgusting person like me and you don't clean your brushes that often I'm just gonna go underneath my double chin right here and disguise it ever being seen again hidden from the world I don't have a huge forehead so I don't know why I do that I, I just tend to do it anyway and now I have a <sighs> rouge from urban decay as well it is called rapture it's such a pretty name for a rouge i'm just gonna go in and brush that on my cheeks this is a very cold toned rouge i don't know if i would have chosen this now but this was the only one i had in my studio i think i prefer rouges that are a little bit more pinkish i think it suits me better i don't know okay so in this mirror it looks normal but i guess in that or for you guys it looks like i've been hit in the face but i don't care maybe i care a little bit but not too much i'm actually gonna go in with a new product that i just got and it's the anastasia glow kit and i'm gonna use what am i gonna use i'm gonna use i think i want to use moonstone because i like the name and the shimmer looks pretty and I'm just gonna apply that right here. So this is the thing. I love highlights. I think it's so pretty. But once again, when you're over 30, it tends to draw attention to your pretty lines in your face. So you want to be a little, a little bit careful. Now I just want to put it all in my face. But uh, okay, and on my tip. You know what? When people do that, they put it on the tip of the nose. Sometimes it looks so weird and so stupid, but I just can't help myself. I want to do that. I want to do that as well. So I did it. I did it. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay. So I'm not a Urban Decay fan. I just happen to have a bunch of Urban Decay products. I'm not sponsored. I wish though. Uh, this is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Anti-Aging. There you go. And we're just gonna apply that over the lid like so, like that, and smear it out with my fingers. Now, I have another new product. I have not tried this out, I think. No, I haven't. I even had the plastic on here. It is the Urban Decay. No, it's not Urban Decay. I know I have a lot of Urban Decay products, but it's not Urban Decay. It is actually the Anastasia palette, Soft Glam. And mm, I'm gonna do something a little bit more natural-ish. Summer, I wanna have like a summer glow vibe. We need to start out with some kind of transition shade. So let's go in with the Burnt Orange. And as you might know, the Anastasia palettes are extremely pigmented which I love. I love my Anastasia palettes, especially the the one that everyone hates. I love that one. That's like my favorite. And I think the reason why people hate it is because they're not used to having eyeshadows that are like pressed uh, pigments like this. So you just want to dab your makeup brush into it very, very, very lightly and just pick up a little bit of pigment and then work with that. And I would rather say like you want to build up the color rather than just kind of smack it on right away. So that was not really a good transition color for me. I'm way too pale. So I'm going to go in with orange soda and I'm just going to kind of fade that out a little bit yeah it looks better that's a funny thing when you look at people doing makeup tutorials and they're like oh yeah that's way better and you see no difference whatsoever i guess that's kind of what it is for you now but i see something with my blind eyes i see a little bit and to me it looks better so i'm kind of pulling it out a little bit on the sides because i like it i like it a lot so what should oh i like the mulberry one. Ooh, dusty rose that one is pretty la, la, la should we do i want to use both how can we use both i'm gonna go in with mulberry right like in the crease here outer corner and then i think I'm, no yeah mulberry out here and then dirty rose on the inside i think so let's go in with my mac whatever brush 217 you can't really tell anymore no actually no i'm not or am i yes so i'm gonna dab that onto the dusty rose and then i'm just gonna pull that in from the inner corner that's a pretty color i think still you know can't really tell but when i put my glasses on i'll know i'm just pulling that in from the inner corner of my eye until like like the first third of the eyelid and just blending it out yeah i like that i'm gonna go in with a pointy crease 
small tapered blending brush from Sigma. It's the E45. I already sound like a beauty guru. <laughs> Just naming a bunch of brush names kind of makes you look or sound professional. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put that in the corner right here. So I'm gonna do like a little V. So right in the crease and then I'm just kind of pulling it a little bit up and then doing the little V shape down here. Still have no idea what I'm doing in the mirror right here. It looks good, but you never know. Never know. Once again, I'm just kind of feathering that out a little bit right here. Ah, it actually looks good up close as well. What do you know? Okie doke. And now I'm just gonna Lightly brushed that under my under eye. Uh, other eye. So now I'm gonna take my blending brush and I am going to blend this mess together. I don't think it looks messy. From here it doesn't. La 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 la. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of that mulberry just to deepen the crease a tiny little bit since we blended that out. So pretty! I feel pretty! Oh, so pretty! I feel pretty! Feel pretty! Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that burnt orange once again and I'm gonna put that all the way down here. I actually like to put quite a lot of color underneath my eyes, kind of to get that grungy look, but still, you know, fancy. If you do it with a lighter color, you don't look as grungy, but you get that little bit of a grunge touch. So I wanna add a little bit more of that dusty rose because I loved it so much. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more to get more of that color in here. Yep, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Bam. Okay, so usually I use my Max Fix whatever spray and then I spray it on this particular brush and then I use my whatever metallic shade I have in here but once again I forgot that too so we're gonna have to uh, do with what we have and I only have this brush so I'm I'm extremely intrigued by that rose pink if I had had my Mac fix spray that would probably oh that was not what I expected it is way more powdery like more like the other shades maybe this will work have you if you've tried out the other Anastasia products you know that it's kind of a hard surface when you're working with the shimmers but this one is completely different exciting I haven't watched any reviews or anything so okay I'm scared I'm sorry but I have to watch <gasps> It works. It works. It works. Ooh, it is pretty. Okay, taking a little bit more of that to my other eye. Hmm. I. <sighs> yeah, this is how I remove fallout. <sighs> yeah, it's my thing. <sighs> Okay, so I really want to use the fairy. Yeah, that's also more of like a powder. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. So we're gonna use that in the inner corner. Corner. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. mm, that's pretty. And I'm gonna drag it out a little bit because I liked it so much. Oh, there you go. Cool. Cool. I think it looks pretty. I'm gonna remove that. And what else? What else, my friends? We should. We should move on to some brow products. So I'm gonna go in with a brow highlight cover stick. But I'm only gonna use the highlighter, I think. This one is from Rapid, Rapid Cosmetics. It's a Swedish brand. Mm -hmm. mm, I love it. It's like when you move around, you can see it. Sometimes you can't see it and sometimes you can. And I like that. So I'm just blending a little bit with my fingers because I like to do that. All right. So I'm gonna keep the brows fairly natural. Well, yeah, pretty natural. Usually I, I color them with uh, orange and yellow as you might have seen. But that's gonna be a tutorial for my next makeup video. So I'm gonna say that. So for right now, I'm actually gonna use two more products from Rapid Cosmetics. Ah. And it's a brush and um, a brow gel in the shade Brow Paint. No, what's the shade? Medium gloomy, maybe? I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, like so, and just brush that onto my brow and flick, flick. Taking the spoolie, brushing that through. I love this color. Hmm. I haven't tried it out before. This is my first time. But this color was actually really pretty. I do like. 
So what I do is I kind of flick in the inner corner right here or unibrow area and then I start dragging when I get over to this area like end part of the brow and uh, so you kind of get a little bit of that ombre effect almost which I think is very pretty. Yeah, something like that. You don't want to have too perfect eyebrows if you're gonna do like a natural summer look like you don't want to have like instagram eyebrows maybe well that's just my preference it's like it sounds like i'm a pro i'm not i'm not even the slightest so i'm using whatever is left on my brush and kind of just filling the the middle out a little bit hmm i like it i like i like i like oh it's seriously so hot in here still i'm like sweating through my makeup i'm sorry about that i think i'm happy with the eyebrows for now actually got them i don't know what it's called in english but you know you take two dental floss string thingies and then you twist them and then you pluck the the eyebrows with that it hurts like freaking hell but damn it it looks so good it looks so good the pain though the pain okay so now i'm gonna use i actually okay so here's the thing i like using eyeliner because it makes my eye pops a little, pops it makes my eye pop a little bit more since i use glasses but i wouldn't like apply this every day if you want to have this more like of a natural look i would probably skip eyeliner but you know i'm just gonna do it so i kind of tend to do it a little bit downwards and then up so i'm gonna start in the inner corner this by the way is nothing fancy it's from Kix. It's a Swedish brand eyeliner intense definition. But I, I love these kind of flimsy brushes you get with it. It's e I think it's easier to work with actually. My dad just called. I need to call him back. He's gonna help me taking some trash out from a studio. So I need to call him. I'll just finish this eye up and then I'll call him. Okay, so now I just take this and I then and then I do it, do it and then I go down and kind of up and out and then I just fill that in. I am not gonna film this up close because I am extremely far away from being a pro at eyeliner, so I'm not gonna do that. Now I'm gonna call my dad. Hang on. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with the other eye. My dad is watching me now. Okay, I'm back. So, oh, now all the trash is thrown out of the studio and where were we? We were applying mascara, I think. So we finished the eyeliner and now I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Mascara. Well, so I'm not gonna apply any false lashes today. Once again, I'm not going in for the beauty, beauty, beauty girl, beauty girl look, and I don't use lashes in my everyday look. So I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use my mascara instead, and I do have pretty long lashes, so I'm fine with that. For now. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Uh, uh. Do you know what I found out like yesterday? Because I was going to the gym and I had to put my, uh, I wanted to put my contacts in, but I haven't done it for a while. And you know, I'm, I'm getting Botox for my, my migraines. And you know, when you get Botox in, like your forehead it makes it all stiff and i noticed that it's way harder to put contacts in when you have botox in your forehead because when you put contacts in you want to kind of raise your eyebrows and i couldn't so i had to kind of force it in and it ended up you know it ended up with me not wearing contacts at all i just had my glasses on and that sucked <laughs> so yeah random fact there you go. I'm actually gonna do one more thing uh, before putting my lipstick on, and that is, um, I just wanna draw like a line underneath my eyebrow, just to kind of define it a little bit more. So this is actually uh, an, an Anastasia brush, perfect brow pencil. Yeah, not brush. And I'm just gonna draw a line underneath here, just to kind of 
define it a tiny little bit more taking my spoolie and brushing it up. yeah that made a whole world of a difference you guys oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna grab something hang on i have it in my my bag my purse my my, my whatever so I actually want to do a combination of two products here. Um, this is Huda Beauty's lip contour lip liner in the color Medusa. So I'm gonna, wow, that one is used. And I don't know if I, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna try it anyway. So I'm just gonna go around the edges a little bit. Just get a little bit of color. Just a tad, like. So, and now I'm going to move on to one of my very newly discovered favorite products. It is uh, by a Swedish YouTuber and makeup artist called Linda Hallberg. Uh, she is a very, 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 very sweet girl, by the way. And this is a lipstick, but it's like moisturizing and it's called Pink Opal. This is the fantastic. I don't know. It's just amazing. I bought two of them. So I got this one and I also got it in the shade Garnet. I've tried both. I'm, I just love them so much because my lips, they dry out really, really fast. And I've been on the hunt to find a lipstick that looks very natural, but still gives it a bit of a tint so you can look kind of fresh and summery and <laughs> but you know, you still have something on your lips. So I'm gonna use pink opal now. And there you go. Ha <laughs> ha. I think I'm done. Still don't really know what it what it looks like, but hopefully it looks good. Let's put well actually, let's just admire this without the glasses on first because you're not going to see anything with the glasses. So, let's do a little um after a shot right here. <laughs> Let's do it in slow motion. All right, let's put the glasses on and see what we got. Oh my God, these are so dirty. I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it. My third ever, I think, makeup tutorial. Yeah, what makeup video without glasses, and I did it. I'm pretty happy with myself. Cool. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So I know, like, if you want to see more videos with makeup or not, if you like hate it or if you like it and whatever, blah, blah. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and push that little bell button so you don't miss any of my newly uploaded videos. And if you want to see how I do my yellow and orange eyebrows you better stick around on my channel it's gonna be uploaded sometime but i'm gonna film it right now so it's definitely gonna be uploaded sometime relatively soon thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye